I'm going to give you an example of this. We were at a Target in Eastern Afghanistan, and I brought a picture of it with me to, to explain it. And the reason that I brought a picture is if I did, I'd have to explain it to you. I'm like, all right, okay, imagine part crossword puzzle, part Ewok village, right? <laughs> so there's going to be a room with no ceiling, no roof, and next to that is a two-story structure, and on the second floor, there's going to be a door this big going into a room with no windows, but as you go in, there's a full-grown male camel. And you're like, wow, why they build a building around a full-grown camel? Well, because I'm in Afghanistan. It's wacky over here, and that's what they do. And I'm like, oh, this is surrounded by, anyway, surrounded by these walls. Anyway, so we, we were all interior on this target. Everyone's inside. We're halfway done with the clearance when the gunfight has started. So, we're all inside, we're not going to leave, so we're going to clear it until it's secure. Now, we found ourselves going into the very last room, um, and it, it looked kind of like the one on the bottom here, with no, there was no ceiling or whatever, and it was, a, it was a long hallway, and it was a corner-fed room. So as the hallway ended, it fed into a room on the corner, and the walls did this. And uh, the, there's no door, like a swinging door, but there's definitely a threshold, right? And there's no, there's no roof on this thing. And I found myself in the number one man position. And I'm walking down to this thing, and I'm trying to get the angle on the, on the room. I've already cleared this, I want to get the angle. And I'm waiting for the squeeze from the number two man. And as I'm waiting, I heard three suppressed shots. And an insurgent fell into the middle of the room. He dropped a machine gun, it was bigger than him. What he had done is he had a hole dug in the, in the wall. And he's waiting there with a belt fed machine gun to ambush at least the first guy in the room, that's me, a foot and a half away. And I don't care how much body armor you're wearing, you're going to die. So he fell into the room, and I looked up, and as cool as ever, the Navy SEAL sniper team leader was looking down at me, and he's got his gun kind of slung, and as cool as ever, he goes, <laughs> 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 and to be a smart aleck, he came over his uh, push to talk, which is what it sounds like, a push to talk, and he's messing with me, and he goes, all clear, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> now, he was doing that to joke, but that impressed me. Uh, not that he saved my life, that was his job, but what impressed me was at that distance, in the dark, he could tell who I was by the way that I walked.